Hi, beautiful people. I greet you according to your time. So, guys, without wasting your time, let's quickly dive into this video. It's a reaction video. Um, I watched uh, Cora Obidi's um, video that she made yesterday, and um, she she thought of so many things. You know, plans to sue Justin for deformation of character. And uh, I have seen one woman like that that made a video that Cora should, shouldn't even bother, you know, spending money on suing Justin for deformation, that we all know the truth. Yes, we all know the truth. There is no doubt. But I think Justin is going extra miles this time around. It is becoming too much for Justin. Honestly, I'm a 100% support for Cora to sue him years for deformation of character so that he will also also rest because what justin what justin does is anytime he see that he's not relevant on social media what he do is um is just for him to go and you know he will start up one drama tagging cora what she is not like all this one now that is had all this drama now that had been trending on social media since last week him coming out to tell his story guys have you people forgotten that this was the first story justin told us when this that when this that divorce started this is not the first time so why all of a sudden justin want to retell his story again justin want to tell us his story again this is not first time he's saying it. This is the first thing he said that made him that he want to divorce Cora. When he was saying he want to divorce Cora before Cora went ahead of him, he was only saying it, using it to threat her without no action before Cora now went ahead to actually file for divorce. If you people can, re if you people can remember, so. I am a hundred percent support for Cora Obidi to sue Justin because Justin only makes money and become relevant whenever that he talks about Cora, his ex-wife. Apart from Cora, Justin is irrelevant. Nobody think about him. Nobody. In fact, apart from Cora, Justin will be forgotten on social media. Trust me, guys. So I am in hundred percent for Cora to go and sue him. Let's see how he will survive. Let's see how he will feel. How, how he will feed, because it, Justin is is out of that. Like Justin, Justin is going is going gaga right now because the direction he's going now. He see that nobody gives him attention anymore. You can imagine, you can, you can understand this kind of man. Count how many people, uncountable, how many girls that Justin had had something to do since under, since two years ago that this divorce started. How many people? So this is to tell you that no woman with a right senses can live with that that man under the same roof for more than a month. So this is to tell you what Cora has passed through in the hand of that man and to also to tell you that, to let you know that no woman can have patience the, the way Cora had patience with Justin Dean to even manage to live with him under the same roof for more than two years. So I am 100% support for Cora to sue him. He deserves it so that he will rest and starve. Let's see how he can be relevant with that Cora. Let's see how, let's just see how he can be relevant on this social media without Cora. He only gets our attention whenever he talks, whenever he talks about Cora. Who knows Justin without Cora? So let me just, just take a look at the video. I'm in support of it. Please don't forget to share. Don't forget to like and don't forget to follow. Thank you for your support on this platform. We know the tire. Now here we day. We are here for our queen. We are here for our girl to give her that support that she needs. Oh yes, no matter what, we are here to support her. Whether good or bad, we are here to support Cora. For you, you want to go and hug Transformer, you can go ahead and hug Transformer. Take a look at the video. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. And feel free to let me know what you feel in the comment section. What do you think? Do you support her to go ahead to sue him? Or she shouldn't waste her money? Just feel free to let me know. When you finish watching this video, I will see you in my next one. Stay blessed. It sounds like they are believing what your ex is saying. Anyone who believes whatever someone says, someone who is a deranged narcissist, all you have to do is unfollow me today. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here.
And if you want to hear anything about that topic, go and get my book. It's just 20 bucks. Get it and read it, okay? So you don't ask questions that make you look silly. I want to intimate you guys about what is going on. Um, some defamatory things have been brought up again two years after the divorce by my ex-husband, Mr. Coral Beedy, who has no other way of getting money on social media but defaming me. And the sad thing about it is a defamation case, I'm looking at it right now, is like squeezing blood out of a rock because he doesn't have any money to be sued. So I'm just going to go back to our divorce decree and have it rectified because this defamation is not going to stop. As long as he's seen money from it, he's never going to stop. And so this is why a lot of crazy people are saying crazy things because they've been instigated by a crazy person who is the crazy leader of all the hates that ultimately, I believe, resulted to my attack in London. Because the accumulation of hate online since my divorce is the only reason why I will be attacked in a new country where I know nobody about or where I know not, nothing about. Anyway, that being said, the actions I am taking in order to, to stop this constant defamation um, as a result of social media money, some people will never leave defamation and they have zero, zero to offer. So the only thing that they can do to grab attention is to say defaming things about a famous person. I'm going to continue to keep my head up. I appreciate everyone who is um, correcting the narrative and the defamation. Don't worry, I am working on getting, you know, the judge to look at the decree again that is being worked on. Till then, kindly desist from saying any defamatory things about me because they are all lies. Every single one of them is a lie, completely a lie. And it's proven in my book. Go read my book. The entire timeline will tell you exactly what you need to know. And it's not going to be on some online live video. You're going to learn it from my book. Cora is Live is available for everyone who cares enough to want to know the truth. Okay? Until then, anyone who insinuates anything like me being a cheater or me being... I never did. I never cheated on anyone. The only thing I did was open up to a man who I thought was my friend, not knowing that the person was my worst enemy and a troll, a literal troll. So if you have ever been married to a troll or you've been married to someone who has tried to destroy you after you guys are separated, then you understand what I'm saying. The truth is, I hold, I hold no ill feelings against anyone, but if you're coming out rightly on the internet to say horrible things about me, then you hold ill feelings against me and you are trying to fundamentally destroy me and put my life in harm's way. I'm just coming off of one thing that you claimed that I faked. And now you're still trying to put my life in more harm's way by saying all these horrible things about me. I've had a lot of hate targeted towards me because of defamatory things. And this is not okay. I'm supposed to be celebrating my freedom. My freedom for... Because right now is the first time that I don't have any cases opened against me. But instead of that, I'm here trying to defend my reputation from a raging narcissist. If you guys have ever been in this sort of situation, then you understand what I'm going through. But no matter how they try, the more they talk about me, the better God blesses me, and for this I'm grateful.